Hi guys, welcome back to another tutorial here um, in Blender. So we're continuing to work on our scene for the beer glass, which we've been um, doing, to explore the various um, texturing and rendering methods that you can employ here in Blender. So this scene has been particularly useful for that because we've covered um, liquids, we've covered some um, like foamy liquid that goes on the top of our beer there, we've covered glass, we've covered lighting the scene, and now we've got something that looks like this. I want to add now some lacing to the glass. So that is after somebody has um, taken a sip of beer, it usually leaves some foam residue around uh, the glass there. And that's what I, we want to add in in this tutorial. So we're gonna be looking at how to do UV unwrapping, texturing um, methods. So, uh, right, let's go into solid view. And I'm gonna select the glass, tab into edit mode. I'm going to turn off my normals here, we don't need those. And face select, and we're going to select, oops, we're going to select all these faces around here. Shift and D to duplicate, P to separate by selection. Tab out of edit mode. And now we're going to rename this the lacing object. We're going to scale this object down just a weeny bit so it sits just inside the previous object. It's not too much. Very small amount. Let's say zero, 0 0.998 should be enough. Okay. Now we have done that, um, into edit mode again. The side which is away from the camera, I'm gonna mark as a seam. So I'm gonna select one of those edges there, edges and mark seam. So this is gonna be the join in our texture that we're going to apply to this. And the texture we're gonna apply is this, which was drawn in Photoshop. Um, I got this from blenderguru.com. And this is our lacing texture. So it looks a bit of a mess right now, but you'll see what effect it has when we place it onto our glass. So that's what we're gonna do. Um, and we're gonna need to do some UV unwrapping. So we'll open up the image editor, delete our render result. And over here in edit mode, I'm gonna select all of those faces. Uh, I want to go to a front view, select all, and UV unwrap, and we'll go for cylinder projection. And that will unwrap everything over here, and it'll give us a nice straight line. Um, next thing we are going to want to do is open our texture. So go to wherever that texture is. You can download it, by the way, in the link below this video. Um, oops liquids via lacing okay now we have that I'm just gonna scale on the y-axis my unwrapped object there and I'm gonna choose where I want my lacing to sit so let me go a little bit big and then I'm gonna move this on the y-axis I want my beer lacing to sit just below the rim of the glass around there. Okay, now, done with that, we can come over to the node editor, and the material which we have already assigned, we want to remove, because if we edit this material, it's gonna make the effect on the whole glass, which we don't want to do. So, remove that material, create a new one, and we'll call this lacing. And now down here, we want to add a transparent shader. We want to add a mix shader. I'm just going to drop into there. And then we want to add a image texture. For the image texture, we're going to use that same one that's 
we were just looking at our beer lacing non-color data and plug that into the color here so now if we go to our camera view and we render you'll see now we have our beer lacing around our glass if you come over into edit mode there and select our lacing tab into edit mode now you can drag this around to adjust our lacing so if you want to scale say in the z-axis could make things wider scale in the y-axis and you can play around with the position of the lacing on the glass now you don't want the lacing to sit too low down, obviously you don't want it to go to where the beer is, it should sit no lower than where any of the foam is. So that is looking about right to me. And now one final thing I want to do to make the glass a bit more glass looking like and transparent. Um, in our node editor, we'll select our glass object. And I'm just going to make a few little changes to this. So. We're in the nodes here, we're going to add a transparent shader. We're going to add a mix shader, which will go in the middle of there. And then I want to add a light path. And finally, we're going to add a math. Node. Okay, so the math node will be add, and then we're going to choose if it's if it's a shadow, or if it's a diffuse ray. I want to add those together, and I'm going to plug that into here. So what that will now do is, um, previously our light was trying to apply some shadows where maybe they weren't needed, which is why. Our glass had some, some specular stuff on the outside edge, which we didn't need. Um, so by adding this, it now will not try to make a shadow to anything which, which, which is um, not needed. So if we drag that over now, we can close up our node editor. We now have quite a nice looking beer glass there with some lacing around it and in this tutorial you've learned how to do some more advanced rendering techniques with the node editor and also how to do a UV unwrap and begin some basic texturing. So I hope you found this useful. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can keep up to date with all my latest tutorials, tips and hints for Blender. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you next time.